These are general reads. They won't resonate with every single Pisces. If it resonates, great. It was for you. If it doesn't resonate, guys, make sure you check your moon and your rising. All right, so please give me an overall message for Pisces for January 2020, please. Let's get an overall message for Pisces. What does Pisces have coming in for January, please? Give me an overall message for Pisces, please. All right. The first card we have is the eight. I feel like for a lot of you guys, we got the nine of wands, okay? A lot of you guys have thoughts we've been having your guard up, okay? But I feel like communication is getting ready to come in for you guys. Some type of communication is getting ready to come in, okay? Yes, yeah, someone is expressing how they feel with this Ace of Cups, okay? Someone is coming in expressing how they feel with this Ace of Cups energy, Okay, someone is coming to express their feelings. <clears throat> what other message is there? Give me one more card for Pisces, please. Okay. All right, we got the High Priestess, the Pisces card. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with another Pisces. Um, but I feel like intuitively you knew that this person was coming back around, okay? I feel like you could feel this person, like, energetically. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords? Two of Pentacles, okay? Two of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. Someone is regretting their... Re Someone is going to be communicating to you how they're regretting a decision that they made. Someone stabbed someone in the back, turned their back on them, did them dirty, okay? We got the Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. All right, and someone's here still stuck in the past as well, too. So someone who did you dirty, someone who who did didn't treat you right. Is wanting to come back and you know <laughs> someone has been dragging their feet too. This is someone who ghosted you, possibly have been away from you for a while. And now, all of a sudden, they just come back out of nowhere. Hmm. All right, let's see what the challenge is. What is the challenge? What's the obstacle? What is in the way? Someone possibly, they waited too long. <clears throat> we got temptation at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. We got patience, which is temperance card. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But I feel like someone here is, uh, you know, feeling like they're trapped, Okay. Someone doesn't know what they want, okay? Someone doesn't know what they want. So someone is deciding that, you know, to that they want to close this chapter because someone waited too long. Someone just left the situation waiting in the air and let other, everyone assume what they assume. And some, you know, like, they don't know what they want. I don't feel like this person is certain about what it is exactly that they want. What action are they going to take towards you, Pisces? <laughs> what action? Okay, we got one right here. Ace of Air. 
That's that same card, Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, communication is coming in. Someone's coming to speak their truth. Someone's coming to speak their truth, okay? Someone is wanting to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. We got the eight of earth. Someone is going to be tell, telling you how they're wanting to put forth the effort now. Someone is going to be putting some effort in to reach out to you, contact you, get in contact with you, talk to you. Someone is going to be putting in. They're talking about how they're going to try and put the work in, okay? Give me one more card. What action are they going to be taking towards Pisces? We got seven of water, okay? So they're going to be needing to do some type of, make some type of decision, okay? So I feel like with the 10 of fire, which is the 10 of wands, someone's going to have to drop something, okay? I feel like they're going to be willing to drop their options, okay? We got the 10 of fire and the seven of cups. Someone's willing to drop all of their baggages, drop their loads, okay? They may have a lot going on, but with that 10 of fire, this is saying that they're tired of carrying that load and they're ready to drop, to, you know, drop anything that doesn't serve them, okay? So this person is coming in trying to put in some effort, Pisces. Y'all release your ex, all right? How do they feel about Pisces? All right, they feel like you've been putting yourself first, okay? You've been putting yourself first. And they feel like you know what you deserve, okay? We got codependency here at the bottom of the deck. And we have healing family issues and give your relationship a chance and make the effort. Okay, so someone is wanting to make some type of effort to give, to heal a relationship, okay? Someone wants to put in the effort. I feel like they feel that you've released them and let them go. Um, and you've decided to put yourself first, okay? And I feel like they respect that. I feel like they respect that shit from you. What message is there for Pisces? Give me a message for Pisces for January, please. All right, so we have give it to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers. So Pisces, it's time to give this, this thing to God, okay? Release it, let it go, and leave it up for God to heal and for you to get the answers that you need, okay? They also want to let you know, the angels also would like for you to know to be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and you need time to heal and recover, okay? And also, Pisces, socialize and join in, okay? Make healthy, supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people, okay? All right, so I'm picking up, Pisces, that you guys... You guys' ex is trying to come back in and communicate with you. Um, I'm not too sure if a lot of the Pisces are going to go for it. Let me get a read in here. Ooh, lots of sexual energy here. Um, your ex may want to come around, come back around to um, have passionate, intimate moments with you. you. Got the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so that's definitely like sexual energy. 
this person could be very beautiful very handsome um and has a <laughs> can you have some great sex okay give me a few more cards for Pisces please <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. All right. <laughs> They've been kind of distancing themselves from you, but they're most definitely thinking about being with you. Okay. They're most definitely thinking about being with you. <laughs> they're most definitely thinking about being with you. All right. Let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is a quick turnaround, okay? Some quick changes. I feel like they're planning on making some changes, okay? Um, I'm just getting like quickly. Um, why is the Knight of Swords here? I'm getting like they're trying to change their mind, or they do change their mind. <laughs> yeah, the magician. Someone, I feel like someone wants, is going to be trying to make some changes. I feel like they're going to be making some changes. They're willing to make some changes. So whoever this is, um, you got this person wrapped up. And I feel like they want to be intimate with you and connect with you and bond with you. And it looks like they're even willing to make some changes, make some adjustments. So, Pisces, y'all let me know what's going on down there in that comment section, okay? If this message is resonated, good. This message was for you. If it didn't, check your moon and your rising videos, okay? Until next time, my loves. Happy New Year. Ciao for now.